last time football was played here in the Gallatin Valley, the season ended in heartbreak. But the start of the 2024 campaign has been anything but anguish for the number three team in the land. And the fans here in Bozeman are hyped up as the Montana State Bobcats in their home opener welcome in the main Black Bears. A beautiful night for football and a beautiful night to start year three of our Big Sky Football broadcast right here on a Saturday night in Bozeman as we're underway and hauled into the end zone and another touchback another booming kick from Brendan Hall so the Black Bears offense coming out for the first time tonight and you know like we mentioned Ty Jahari Martin five on play action PB and he can use his legs as well still buying time throws on the run wide open on the far side and one play one first down for this we'll play fast Empty backfield, five wide on third down. Peavy trying to escape. Throws on the run, and he's got a target to the 45. That's going to be well short of the first down marker as Tavion Banks hauled it in there for me. Taco Dell are now the man in motion here on second and five. Now to Scott Trey Humphrey. Slingshots through the line. Scott Trey Humphrey, they're not going to catch him. Stumbles, but still stays on his feet. Scott Trey Humphrey, goodbye to the Blue Turf touchdown Bobcats. Incredible, Ben. I mean, the big number 22 here. It all starts up front, just inside zone. Great job seeing the crease, pressing it. Big time play by him. I tell you, between him and Adam Jones, they're trying to set records each week here. Off to a hot start by Montana State's off. And the PAT good. 79-yard house call for all alone in the backfield. Five wide on third down. Pocket collapsing. Rolling to his left. Still trying to buy time. And desperately just gets rid of it to force fourth down. As Brody Greeby was charging down on him. On their second offensive drive. Brian King in motion. Malott will go to the air. And they dump it off past the 40. Adam Jones cuts back inside and gets into Black Bear territory. Nice job moving the chains. Montana State's offense is rolling, Ben. Well, that's really what they want to do, this Montana State offense. And the passing game for Malad is those quick throws. Adam Jones, he's now streaking to the end zone. The running game for Montana State continuing to tear up the turf. Well, we'll see it on replay, Ben. I believe it was just another inside zone play. We've got a problem here. This black hole defense that Maine prides itself calling each other. I mean, right here, great job by Adam Jones finding that crease. <laughs> Again, I mean, right now, these guys are going untouched. Heck of a thing in. And a 14-zip lead early on in this move here on third and nine. Empty backfield once again for PB. Loads of time, fires a strike, and he's got a wide open target near mid midfield down near the 50 yard line. And a great pitch and catch there as he finds trying to get another third down conversion. PV looking, batted up in the air, incomplete. Well, there he is, folks. You know, people are the preseason defensive player of the year in the big sky. That one blocked. Still on the turf, finally picked up by Montana State and close to the 20 yard line. Well, we know it was number field position. It looked like Garrett Walkley coming down with the recovery. That's where he's got to be careful, you know, two hands on the football. He slams over there right now, Ben. I mean, you look at the excellent field position now they have. First and ten. Malott to the edge. Malott going for the pylon and knocked out of bounds near the five-yard line. And Jordan Stevens also told us they got to tackle better coming in this matchup with Montana State. Malott looking to throw. And a strike. Wide open. Touchdown, Bobcats. Ryan Lonergan hauls it in. Field. Nice throw and catch. The fourth TD throw from Tommy Watt this season. And tight end, you know, losing the Alaskan assassin Derek Snell and Trayton Pickering. You know, these guys are doing a heck of a job, and those are big shoes to fill. And as Tavion Banks leaves the backfield, Peavy goes down. 
Hunter Parsons with the sack. And you want to talk about sacks? There it First is. First one of the season. There it is. Play action to Jared White. The dump off. Rohan Jones to the 50. And gets his current team into his former team's territory. And Jones. State. Quick toss. Taco Dowler escapes one tackle, trying to get to the outside. And ushered out of bounds. And a little extracurricular. You can see that second level is not quite the same without him. Play action again. Mowat. And... A first down as junior Alexander hauls it in. Well, that's what you, as a defensive player, you know. 151 rushing yards so far. Scott Trey Humphrey right up the gut. And the Bobcats rolling. Second TD tonight for Humphrey. Well, I was just going to say when you were talking about Montana State's offense, you know what the scare Heck of a job by this Montana State offense. Scott Trey Humphrey has proven that he is a dude every time he gets opportunities in games he runs like a 28 nothing yeah you know we talked so much about the rush back for doing a heck of a job gave Oregon a, a heck of a scare at awesome and then yeah going to Laramie at that elevation that's not easy to go win on the slant completes it to Nick Laughlin that helps. <laughs> and what has this past year been like since you were on the show uh, it's been good it's uh, we're busy but it's fun and you know, every day's new, every day's fun. So we're taking it day, day to day. What was your favorite memory as a Bobcat? <laughs> Second down and nine. Malott on the keeper, fakes the pitch, turns on the Jets, and Malott wrapped up just short of the 30. Backs in and out. Guarantee they uh, run the ball right here myself. Nope. I Malott, lied. yep, play action, dump off. Going to Junior Alexander, and that'll be enough to move the sticks. Nice job by Tyler Walker changing up there, first down. Wide open gap, Adam Jones, another reservation for six. Well, Ben, like every player that may be suited. Paratides tonight for Humphrey, and now for Jones, and a 35-zip lead. You see the big, beautiful facility behind us, a $25, $26 million indoor going in. If you build it, they will come. Deep shot from Peavy, and he's got a man in Bobcat territory. That one hauled in by Montego Moss. Coach Daly this week, what I think he's most happy about is they're finally starting to build some depth in that linebacker core, which they've kind of lacked the last couple years. Over the middle, again wide open. Hopping over a defender and getting near the 15. And another first down for the main offense. In the season, I don't care who they're playing. That's incredible. Peavy underneath. Shaking to the outside. Lampson. And I'll be short of the first down marker. Fourth down. Play action. Peavy rolling to his right. He'll tuck it and run. Peavy will just... Trot out of bounds, and he will pick up a first down. Nice use the quote, you know, calm and steady, calm and steady. There have not been a lot of calm and steady thus far, but this is a heck of a drive. Out of the pistol, the handoff to the five. And it looks like Blake Schmidt was the first man there for Montana State. Out of the running game here in 2024. Pressure coming, Peavy. Incomplete. Well, it's a good job by Peavy. I mean, they're bringing zero pressures, no safety. That's what zero pressure on third down. Montana State showing blitz to the corner, hauling it in. Touchdown, Maine. Montego Moss, like father, like son, gets the Black Bears on the board. Yeah, but we got a flag on the field, Ben, and I'll tell you what happened. Montana State's about to bring some field side pressure, and you're going to see, not from this angle. Outside. 26. Touchdown. You'll see off the edge if we... And the BAT good. Like at the top of the show, all offseason, this Bobcat team talked about not being able to close out games, whether it was at South Dakota State or at Idaho. Tommy Malott will take a deep shot. And that will be ruled a catch. Season form, I'm still in, I'm, I'm still in early season form. I don't know. That's Tommy Malott. 
That one incomplete. I'll tell you what, I gave some love to that settler program over in uh, Missoula. Lots of young men getting big tight end out of Mendham, New Jersey. Good sure, sure tackle there by Ryland Ort. And PB nowhere to go, wrapped up for the sack. Well, and there you go. I mean, what's what's going on with Brody Greeby? Why has he been so quiet? Well, From inside their own end zone, Taco Dowler once again to receive it. And he'll haul it in, stumbles, regains possession, cuts back inside, looking for an opening, and finally dragged down. The coach of the offense, that veteran presence the last couple of years, while being in 1A, 1B with Tommy Malott. That's right on cue, Malott with a strike to the far side. Great young man, great personality. You know, Minutes of play here in the first half, a commanding 35-7 lead for Montana State. Malott pumps, and he'll take off with it again. He gets to the 20, and he'll move the chains once again. Look at Tommy, I mean, Tommy takes his seat, keeps the ball extending and moving, and gets another first down. He's got space. Turns the corner, tight ropes it, and runs out of bounds. And it looks like having a fantastic career. A great young man. Got to see him this summer. Outstanding young young fella. Malat to the air again. Slings it, batted away. And a great defensive stop there by Chicago. And the pistol once again. Adam Jones met by a plethora of Black Bear defenders. Well, and Bozeman and. You know, I, I saw Sean uh, last night. I, shot, I saw Isaiah Fonse. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of these guys want to come back here because it's a special place. Quick strike. You know, coach Justin Udi, who's a fantastic coach, and Coach Vegan, they're trying to dial it in because how did their season come to an end last year? A blocked extra point. 23-yard attempt here. And then right through the uprights. and 10. And they'll just keep it on the ground and hand off to Banks. Banks able to shake off a couple defenders. That was a, that was a, that was a Maine will go into the locker room trailing 38 to 7. Montana State's offense just clicking, especially in that first quarter. 372 total yards for the Bobcats, 232 on the ground. In the game where the offense has just been clicking. Marky e. Johnson will not return this. Let's go back down to Grace Lawrence. Hey guys, yeah, I was able Now taking over a quarterback here in the third for Montana State. As they'll keep it on the ground, busting through the hole and tripped up short in mere, mid, midfield, I should say, Scott Trey Humphrey. The downs. Play action, Reed, pressure coming and lost the football. And that one hauled in by the Black Bears. Well, Jordan Stevens wanted to see some big plays defensively, he gets it there. Yes, yes, he did. I mean, that Isaiah Anderson coming down with the fumble recovery. Little play action boot here, and Jordan, Jordan Reed doesn't even see him. <laughs> you know, that's exactly, exactly what this main outfit needs right now. It got a turnover, great field position. But if they can close the gap a little bit, I mean, you never know. Over the middle, that one complete, and that will be a first down for the Black Bears. And this is this is the kind of thing that as a defensive coordinator. The end around. Knifing through to the defenders, streaking into the end zone. Touchdown, Maine. Trevin Ewing takes it in for six. Let's go! Well, this, this is actually a really nice play design and play call by the Maine Black Bears because you got boundary pressure this time. And there's a there's a lot of ye yellow or gold in that backfield. Nice job on the perimeter blocking there by those wide receivers. And, and you know, like I said, turnover, touchdown. You know, a lot of Montana State uh, faithful are still out tailgating because they kind of thought they saw the writing on the wall. Ben, we got we got a 38-14 ball game now. Yeah, you could for, for 212 yards last season. Second appearance after playing. Last week against Utah Tech, and that main D line once again coming up big, for, forcing a fourth down. I tell you what, I mean, you, you, you know, sports in general do as well. Third and three. PB rolling to his right, looking. 
and barely gets rid of it in time as Brody Greeby was just absolutely on the move as we go back down to Grace Lawrence. All right, Grace, thank you so much. Montana State back with the football. On the ground, Jared White, and possibly a touchdown saving tackle right there because he had nothing but open turf if he got some run here in the second half. So he'll get the rock once again. Mazes his way through, and the first down for the Bobcats. Probably not going to get to see it now that we've you know, gone. Back to Jared White, up the gut. One man to beat, and wrapped up at the 20. Again, just down in four. Reed rolling. Incomplete. Well, right-handed quarterback, that's a tough play. He's moving to his left. Looks like they're going to try to get the three points. You know, it was a tremendous standout for the Black Bears back in the day, not too long ago. That field goal is good from 31. My, my, my son and I actually were at the Husky Weber State game last week. And the Husky fans weren't thrilled. I'm like, listen, Weber State is just playing really, really good football. Fast, physical. I think they might turn around. Looks like we might have a little bit of P.I. here, Ben. Yeah, trying to find Trevin Ewing on that deep shot from PV. Been littered with great coaches, great players. I mean, is, is there a difference between FBS? Absolutely. It is, it, it is an inch here. It's pounds here. It's a tenth into 40 there. But there's a lot of really great things in football. 21-yard scoop, by the way, by Tavion Banks. Gets the Black Bears into Bobcat territory. Wide open. Inside the 20. Nick Laughlin with the catch under center. Fumble the ball. Yep, lost it on the turf. Now you watch this. Yeah, he just lost the football. Doesn't like getting a first down on a fumble. You talk about the old plus-minus <laughs> play as a coach. Uh, you know, the offense corner quarterback coach. Like. And a flag, because you saw Jordan Stevens, the head coach, absolutely irate walking onto the field. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, main coaching staff, 15-yard penalty, downs one. So now first and goal from the 22. Peavy, with an eternity of time, just dumps it out into the flat. And right on cue, Montego Moss. Yeah, but they keep fighting to the end. Wide open, hauled in, reaches across the goal line. Touchdown, Black Bears. This is an, ex this is an excellent route, and you're going to see Big 48 here. So maybe if we get a, we get a wider angle, he was all the way in the flat. And MSU's secondary just lost him for a long night and early morning trying to get back to Orono, Maine. 41 21. Yeah, like you mentioned, we've called Declan McKevitt's name quite a few times tonight. They do now. Wilson throws on the run. He's got an open target. And into Black Bear territory. Ryan Schlepp with the catch. Fantastic job of, from Wilson, the young man. 13. Wilson straight drop. Incomplete. Montana State looking for a flag. Well, and they won't get it. Yeah, the, 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 the black hole defense brings five-man pressure here. I think a lot of energy in this stadium coming into this matchup near kickoff. Well, no doubt. I mean, they, they, they're, they're doing the right things early in the season. You've got Stephen F. Austin that, that canceled the home and home. You see Moss there with the big catch. Nice throw by Peavy. Pushing for the Black Bears on second and seven. Play action, Peavy. Throws on the run, and he's got Ewing into Bobcat territory. Hunters, and, and again, 
They didn't run the ball very well last year, only averaging about 80 yards per game. You know Coach Stevens is trying to change that. Another fantastic run by Banks, and he's letting the crowd know that that is, in fact, the first down. Out of the pistol. Play action, PB with an eternity of time. Once again, tries to maze his way through. And going to be very close to picking up that first down. I Looking to convert again, third and five. Play action, PB again to the end zone. Incomplete. Yeah, it's Tatum Gray there. It's 25 yard here. And that one good, 41-24. Fans, let's take a look at more of your photos. More towards the boundary. He had a lot of green grass, but cut it back and took a pop for it. Jared White, he's got space. Blows past some defenders, but a shoestring tackle. To walk it off, obviously they had to review it, but it stands and boy, I mean, yeah, again, that's a bad loss for an Eastern squad. Going to the air, incomplete. Trying to find Hunter Province. That it was. I mean, 14 years ago, the national champs, and just wow, Drake, Drake beating the Mincini. That's uh, is what it is. Yep. Wilson with the keeper. And it'll be close. So it's 66 ticks left. Black Bears looking to have one final impressive drive. They'll keep it on the ground. And trying to break away, gets by one defender and wrapped up out of bounds. Play action, Peavy. He wants to show off the arm again. And that one picked off. Jackson Harmon with the INT. Absolutely. He showed off the arm, just went to the wrong color jersey. You got, you got the young man at Anchorage, Alaska. And that. My friend, as they say, is all she wrote. Chance Wilson to take a knee here. That will be the conclusion of the 17th annual. I mean, it's just been a fantastic, fantastic record here in Bobcat Stadium. And that is it, my friend. Yep, one final knee, and Montana State will wrap it up with a 41-24 win. Over Maine to remain undefeated on the young season before wrapping up non-conference play two weeks from today back here at Bobcat Stadium against Mercy Hurst before they begin Big Sky play. And again, man, it's just that running attack. 346 yards on the ground. They averaged almost 10 yards per carry.